Hello, in this video I'm going to explain how to control the position of a joint in the software Copelia SIM or VREP using the regular API uh, based on Lua. Uh, as you can see here, this, uh, we have a, a, a scene, I have created already a scene for you, which is actually very similar to our previous video in which we explain uh, how to control the joint uh, through uh, velocity. The, as you can see, for instance, this object is a dynamic object, which is the bar that we would like to move. Okay, so it's a dynamic object. And this joint is also in force uh, or torque force mode. And the difference is that now we have not only uh, the motor enabled, so it's actuated, but also we have enabled the control loop. So now we can set the target position of our, uh, in this case, the target position of our uh, joint. Okay, but definitely zero. Okay, and with this parameter here, we can set the maximum velocity we allow this joint to move. Okay, so this is also an interesting parameter. Okay, and uh, okay, so now let's uh, let's go for uh, let's go to the script and explain uh, which is the purpose of this uh, this example. Okay. The idea is that the, the bar will be alternating uh, in one position on another position every five seconds. Okay. So let's take a look to the script and I will explain step by step what they're doing here. Okay. So first thing, uh, in the init function I'm just simply obtaining the handle of rebel joint, which is this uh, joint or this object here. Okay and I'm storing this handle in this variable which is called joint. Then I get the current simulation time in seconds and I store that in this variable here which is called last time. Okay? I do that because I would like to register or to uh, do uh, something every five seconds. Okay? And, and this is something we do here, I, I'll, I'll explain. And also I declare a variable, by default I started with false, in which I decide whether if I want to go uh, counterclockwise or uh, clockwise. Okay, so uh, in the actuation function, this will be called every time the simulation is running. Okay, what I check first is if the current simulation time minus the last time I store is greater than five seconds in this case. So if that's the case, I set time elapsed true and update the variable last time with my current simulation time. This is a way to do, okay, if I want to do something every five seconds, then time elapse will be true every five seconds, and otherwise will be false. Okay, so you can see here. Okay, so next step will be, okay, now we have the time elapse. So every five seconds, this variable here will be true, only for one iteration and then will be false. Okay, so now the idea is, okay, with this other variable, I can uh, do the alternate uh, mode, okay, in which uh, I have, if this is true and uh, this condition is true, then I set this to false and I call the function set joint target position, which is actually quite similar to the previous function we saw, which was set joint target velocity. Okay. Uh, otherwise, we have to check again if the time lapse is true, but this is false, and then we do the inverse logic. Okay. So that's how it works. This alternate mode. So now let's take a look to the set joint target position function. So indeed, if we go uh, to the reference, we have it here. It basically says that uh, it sets the target position of a joint if it's in torque force mode and also uh, motor it's enabled and the position control are enabled. Okay, so we need to make sure these things are correct. Okay, and uh, what this function expects is a handle, exactly as uh, the previous function we saw, the sim set target velocity. So uh, this is the joint handle and expects a target position. So these are the two parameters, so it's the joint object handle and the target position, which could be a position in meters if we have a prismatic joint or a position in radians if we have, uh, in this case, a revolute joint. Okay, 
So that's why, because we have a revolute joint, that's why I'm providing here 90 degrees but expressed in radians. So I'm just doing the conversion uh, from degrees to radians just by multiplying with this number, which is pi, which is a constant which is defined in Lua by default, math.pi, divided by 180. This is a conversion from degrees to radians, and then 90 degrees multiplied with this constant here will be actually a, a half pi, okay? And this is the same but with the negative number, so it will go to 90 degrees and minus 90 degrees. So let's run the simulation and see how it works. Okay, first it just simply waits 5 seconds until uh, the lapse time condition is met, and then goes to one position, and then after 5 seconds goes to another position. Okay? Right now you can see the speed is quite slow, and almost it did not have time uh, in order to reach the final or the target position. Okay? So if we want to increase that, we can just simply modify this and increase the maximum velocity that we allow this joint to move. Okay? Or we need to increase the time. Okay, so we run it again, and after 5 seconds, you see that right now the bar is moving much faster. Okay, after 5 seconds, again moving much faster. Okay, so in this video, I have explained how to control the position of a joint. Uh, thank you very much.